Hello all, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll see how to insert emoji in the Excel. Yes, you heard it right. It's inserting emoji. So isn't it interesting? So let's start. In this data, I have the employee's name, I have the actual sales and I have the sales target. I need to check whether the employee has achieved the target or not. So usually by making use of a condition, this is how they represent the data. It's either yes or no. But to represent the data a little differently, you might insert an emoji, something like this. Uh, a happier face for the employees who have achieved the target and a sad or a neutral face for the employees who have not achieved the target. So this is what we are going to look at now. So let's start. So I have the same set of data in my other sheet. So I need to check if the employer has achieved the target or not. For this I am making use of if condition. My condition is my actual sales must be greater than or equal to my sales target, comma, within double quotes. Usually I give it as yes, but in this case I need emoji. So the shortcut key is windows and dot key. Once you press windows and dot key, automatically this particular uh, dialog box appears. So just select the emoji that you require. In this case, I need the uh, I'll just go with this happier face. Make sure that you close this. Close the double quotes. Comma. Open double quotes. Again give the shortcut windows and dot key. And in this case uh, I need the sad face. You can just hover over the uh, smileys or the emojis in order to get the description. So I'll just go with this neutral face. Set it back. I'll just Close this, close the double quotes, close brackets and then press end. So windows and dot key is the shortcut in order to get the list of emojis. So now just place your cursor towards the bottom right hand corner and just double click in order to get for all the other employees. But this will not give me the um, actual uh, result. Why? Because my, if I double click my sales target, you can see this is there as 15,000. But for the second employee, if you double click, it is showing it as B2, which is wrong. Which means I have not locked the cell. So, I need to lock the cell B1 so it does not change for all the other employees. So, to do that, just double click. Place your cursor um, wherever you type B1. And then just press F4, the shortcut in order to lock that cell. And now this, press enter. Now just place your cursor towards the bottom right corner and just double click. Now you can see that the sales target or the cell B1 has been locked for all the other employees. And for this emoji, you can apply the filter as well. So I want to know who are the employees who have actually achieved the target. So to do that, I'll just select the data and give the shortcut RDFF. Once you give the shortcut, you can see that the filter has been applied. I can see the drop down arrow. Just click on that and click on the select all. Now select the uh, emoji which you need. I need the list of employees who are actually achieved. So select that particular emoji and then just give OK. So now automatically it is showing the list of emoji, uh, employees who have actually achieved the target. So, in order to get back the details, again press RDFF. And that concludes this video. Hope this video has been helpful for you. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Also click on the bell icon to receive further updates.